asked to sing this. This is Corellia's um, song by Natalie Global to Children. And uh, my lady, uh, Mistress Mari Indian Daid, and I started our SCA lives in Anastasia. And we were lucky. Yes. <laughs> and we were lucky enough to come under the spell of Master Yolo, who explained a lot of things about the SCA and, SCA and kept us out of trouble. Things set us uh, on a good path. He used to come to Penzik uh, for many years, uh, selling crossbows. And people knew what he sang and, and played his lute. And so they would come to him. YOLO! YOLO! I just heard this most amazing song. And then they would sing him this song that he wrote. <laughs> with variations. So it was a great example of the oral tradition in the SCA. And in fact, if you don't know that he wrote it, it's, for most of us, pretty hard to tell that it's not a traditional song. It's, it's very well written. Uh, I've, I've had discussions on, on how we can tell it's a modern song some some musically, some word choice, but it's a pretty good facsimile of what we're aiming for. So, this is called Corellia's Song. <clears throat> oh, the Baron of East Marches, fair sorceress daughter, was enamored unseemly of the fool of her lord. Though her duke was deemed handsome, he was so vain and petty. With a dark mind as empty as last summer's gold. But the fool, he was clever, and he sang for his lady, like a nightingale piping, indeed for his tall. But his station was lowly, and his body was aging, and their love was as hopeless as if he were stone. Now the lady has led them, the fool and her husband, to her cool secret garden by the midsummer's moon. And she's danced them a spell there of shifting and changing, and she's left them dumbfounded by a sorcery's boon. She has left the fool crying to the gods of his fathers. She has left her duke laughing to her high chamber door, and she's kept him there softly through two days bright dawning, while the servants all gossip in wonder and awe. Now the fool died in madness, saying he was in sorcery, and the duke only smiled him a sad secret smile. Now the Duke rules his people with wit and good humor, and he sings to his lady like the nightingale song. And she's borne him five children, two sons and three daughters, and they've grown straight and handsome and sorcerers all. And they dance in the garden and sing in the moonlight like nightingales piping in deep forest halls. 